after the junkyard shenanigans, I uh, set it aside and now we're ready to use it. So we're gonna get flocked up. Boom, got the flock it in stock along with the applicator that looks like a Pringles jar with some holes in it and some glue. We're gonna be flocking the dash guys and uh, I think it's gonna be a fun informative process for me and for you as well. So if you wanna try this at home, but we have our dash here, goo gone, removing the Velcro strip glue strips that were left behind is the first step is removing pretty much all the grime off the dash. You want a really clean surface um, along with um, clean surface along with I want to remove the cluster and all these in here and the HVAC controls Probably these vents as well. I don't know that I'm gonna actually flock these vents the center vents. I might paint them um, Because I feel like that will It'll be hard to flock the vents. I don't know I'll see what I can find in terms of if people have flocked vents before but for the time being let's get to removing this cluster I got a little hung up on the HVAC. I couldn't figure out what screws I had to take off and what screws I didn't. So I figured it out, got it out nice and clean. On the other hand, this vent, we're, we're not gonna talk about what happened there. Unfortunately, we got a vent down. So otherwise, all the other vents are out. Now the next step would be to probably clean this. Unflocking believable. It's flocked, man. It really is just all flocked up. Well, I flock with it, if I must say. But that's the end of that right there. Man, not too bad on the process wise. I would have done more glue had I known we didn't have enough glue on certain areas. But as you can see, what a absolute mess this has been. Um granules of nylon fibers are throughout so that's the main takeaway from flocking your dash wear a mask we wore masks to do it but 
wear a mask because it gets thick. Um, without further ado though, with having this done, that means that I've got to make the trip to the junkyard and grab the last HVAC component I need so that I can get everything back into the car um, and prepare to grab, I need to pick up that AC kit, but that's besides the point. I want AC for this summer, so that's the goal. Case swap with AC would be wonderful. Gas mileage for days, you know the drill. Um, but that's where I'm at, so with the Honda, it's it needs to be reliable and comfortable at this point. And I'm trying to clean it up slowly. Um, I definitely see some areas that I'll have to redo on this. I don't know if I'll have to paint them, but this bit right here, literally just came off it was still wet which is kind of weird um you can tell in here there's not enough so i don't know if you like stick more glue on i think that's probably a bad idea so i'll probably just leave it the way it is but those are my imperfections so enjoy those because next time there won't be as many i promise you i'll glue the hell out of it that's for sure flock it bro flock it well, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my random randomness. Um, I encourage you to like for more, comment for more, subscribe for more, because there's always more coming down the road.